All right, so today what we're going to be working on is right triangle trigonometry. So um, I need you to think back to geometry, and I want you to do the try this. I'm sure you've heard of Sokotoa before. So I want you to translate what Sokotoa means. So put me in pause and come back and let's see if you know it. Okay, so what does Sokotoa mean? So Sokotoa is the ratio of the three uh, basic trig functions, which is sine, cosine, and tangent. So the SOH here, the S stands for sine, and the O stands for opposite, and the H stands for hypotenuse. So it's sine, and you, you would put an angle here, equals, and then your ratio, O is opposite, H is the hypotenuse. All right, the next one, ka. So that's cosine of an angle is equal to A is the adjacent over H, which is the hypotenuse. And then we have toa, that's tangent is the T, tan of an angle equals O over A, which is opposite over the adjacent. Okay, so you might remember some of this. So this is a review. Um, if you remember, great. If not, then, you know, we have to make sure that we know how to do basic right triangle trig before we tackle the other stuff. All right, so when you do right triangle trig, you're going to first label the sides. Label the sides of the right triangle. You want to label it as either opposite adjacent or, and hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. Opposite, the opposite side is across from the angle that is given or the angle that you are trying to find. Adjacent is next to the angle that is given or next to the angle that you are trying to find. Cross off the side not being used. Determine which function to use. So you're going to think of your Sokotoa and then set up your proportion. Now, when you're trying to find a side, you're going to cross multiply. If you're finding an angle, you're going to use the inverse key. Your inverse keys are cosine, negative one. Remember inverse, right? When we did the inverse of uh, functions, sine, negative one. You can find those on your calculator. The, you have to use the second button, okay? Tans and negative one. All right, so let's take a look at number one. It says to solve for x to the nearest tenth. So the first thing I'm going to do uh, with this right triangle here is I'm going to label the sides. So I'm going to start with the hypotenuse because the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. So that means that x is the hypotenuse, so I put an x there. This is the angle that I have, which is 36. Go across from 36. That would be the opposite, so put an o. And the side that's next to it is the side that's touching the angle, and that's my adjacent. So the side that's not being used is the adjacent side. So now think of Sokotoa. Which function, sine, sine, cosine, or tangent uses O and H? That would be sine, uses O and H. So we're going to set it up. Sine, and then your angle goes right next to the function, 36. is equal to O over H, which is 5 over X. All right, so we're going to put sine over 1 and cross multiply. So when I cross multiply, I always like to put the X in front of this, the trig function. So it's X sine 36 equals 5 times 1 is 5. We're solving for X, so divide both sides by sine 36. And then you just plug that in your calculator. So you type in 5 divided by sine 36 and you get 8.5. Now, if you didn't get 8.5, your pro your calculator is probably in uh, radian. So hit mode and put your calculator in degrees and just give it a try again. All right, so let's take a look at two. It says to solve for x to the nearest tenth. So again, I'm going to start with the hypotenuse. It's opposite the right angle. So that's h. This is the angle that's given to me. So I go across. That's the opposite. So I put an o. And the side that's next to it, that's 6, that's the adjacent side. So using Sokotoa, which function 
is going to use O and A because the H is not being used. So which function uses O and A? That would be tangent. So it's going to be tan. Then your angle goes right next to it. 40 equals O over A, X over 6. So you're going to put tan 40 over 1 and cross multiply. So I have 1 times X is X equals 6 times tan 40. Put the 6 in front. 6 times tan 40. Just plug that in your calculator just like that. 6 tan 40. And you get 5.0. That's to the nearest tenth. All right, and let's take a look at the last one, number three. All right, so let's label the triangle. Let's start with the hypotenuse opposite the right angle. Uh, this is the angle I'm trying to find, so go across. That's the opposite. And 10 is the adjacent that's next to. So cross off O, it's not being used. So I have Sokotoa. All right, so which... All right, so which function uses A and H? That would be cosine. So it's going to be cosine of my angle goes right next to the trig function, which is X equals A over H 10 over 15. All right, since I'm trying to find an angle, I use the inverse key. So it's X equals the inverse of cosine. And then when you type this in your calculator, you get parentheses. So you're going to type in 10 divided by 15. Hit enter. This is to the nearest degree, which means a whole number. You get eight, 48 degrees. Okay, so that's it, and we'll practice in class tomorrow, so have a good night.